The use of force. Uh, Nigeria's youth minister says protesters fighting against alleged police brutality must end daily demonstrations and enter into dialogue with the government. Thousands of Nigerians calling for reforms in law enforcement have taken to the streets every day for more than a week across the country, posing a major challenge to President Mohamedou Buhari. The protests have continued despite the dissolution of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, or SARS, police unit, following accusations of human rights abuses. They've also gained international traction online and the support of the Black Lives Matter activists rallying under the end SARS hashtag. Sunday Dare, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development, told Reuters the government had met the demonstrators' demands, including the creation of an independent body to investigate alleged misconduct and the release of all arrested protesters. It is time to move to the next stage. That next stage is dialogue, to sit at the table. You have put demands on the table, demands have been, have been met, you might have other demands. It is only dialogue. And that's, that's, that's been the way of all protests, the way of all conflicts, and it cannot be different in this situation. The minister did acknowledge the mistrust of demonstrators who say the government has promised to reform the police in the past with little effect. The president and Nigeria's police chief promised that force would not be used on peaceful protesters, but police have opened fire on demonstrators in recent weeks. At least 10 protesters have been killed, according to Amnesty International.